I don't know what they are. Our video begins in a small city in northeastern Texas called Marshall, historically significant for its role as a railway hub during the Civil War. Marshall is known for its annual Wonderland of Lights festival and offers several state parks and lakes for outdoor enthusiasts. It also has a long history of UFO sightings dating back many decades. And I did just like this and I could see it. And if you look at the trees, you know, it's right here. I mean, it's 300 foot up right here. Sorrell's thought about shooting at the object but didn't want to start an interstellar war. So he lowered its gun and hightailed it back to the house. In November 1981, in which witnesses reported a red pulsating light flying above the trees, the light allegedly flew directly over their truck, which subsequently experienced electrical issues requiring the alternator and battery to be replaced. 43 years later, a couple recently reported a sighting describing an almost identical experience. Look how it moves. Look at that. You see it? Yeah, I see it. It looks like it's getting closer. It's just bouncing. According to the witnesses, they estimated the object to be nearly a mile high in the sky, displaying a chromatic nature similar to the 1981 sighting. They it's... noted that the orb's color seemed to shift only when it pulsed, and at times it appeared to bounce slightly while remaining stationary. The couple observed the UFO dim out of sight, only to reappear exactly as it was. It's gone. Adding to the mystery, they reported that the following morning, a wildfire broke out near the location where the orb had hovered. Out of curiosity, I looked up local news, and indeed there was a fire that consumed up to 120 acres and took three hours to contain. This afternoon, according to the Hallsville Fire Department, their crew and emergency services districts four were called out to a wild line fire near Farm to Market Road 2625 near Cave Springs Road. Salina, Utah, a small agricultural town nestled among mountains, has had its share of strange sightings, many of which aren't limited to mysterious objects in the sky. Notably, there have been several reports of a winged humanoid cryptid that allegedly prowls the area at night, adding an eerie element to Salina's lore. One of the most striking UFO incidents occurred nearby in 2016, when a peculiar photogenic object was captured on camera. Witnesses reported seeing the object perform impossible maneuvers, darting across Utah's plains at supersonic speeds, leaving a trail of speculation and intrigue. This sighting remains one of the most talked about events in the region's paranormal history. Where'd he go? There he is. Kind of a brighter one. That's a little reddish. There's Barrett's, top of Barrett's, and this one, it's going pretty high. Doesn't look like he's gonna disappear, oh, there he goes, there he goes. For one local native, this sighting occurs nightly, almost like clockwork. A bright object appears above the mountain range, sometimes alone, but often accompanied by others. This phenomenon lasts about 30 minutes before slowly fading out of view. Every week I look at dozens and dozens of sightings, and this is by far the most common. In nearly every case, witnesses report seeing red and white lights. This is getting fainter and he's gone. We return once again to the mysterious blue plasma dogbone UFO an object that continues to make weekly appearances in skies across different parts of the world. Originally sighted in 2013 by a group of hunters in Canada, this anomaly hasn't just persisted, it's been reported with increasing frequency. 
In a recent video, we discussed the theory that it might be a Starlink satellite train, which can appear bluish when initially released into high orbit. However, this latest sighting might put that theory to rest once and for all. An incredible sighting has emerged, showing not just one elongated blue plasma-like object, but a skyfall. Unlike previous encounters, which have featured only a single object at a time, this is the first known instance of multiple objects appearing together. Unfortunately, the video was uploaded to TikTok, where source material often becomes hard to verify, and there's no information on the time or location of the sighting. Clues from the video suggest it may have been recorded in a warmer climate, likely in the southwestern US, as the house in view has a clay or concrete roof. The significant light pollution also hints that it was filmed in a major city. If authentic, this is an exciting capture, though any original audio has been dubbed over with music. What do you think? Are we witnessing an alien fleet gathering, or could this be an elaborate hoax? Moving away from the desolate prairies of the American West, we now have a sighting in the bustling city of Krefeld, located on the western side of Germany near the Rhine River. The witness quickly reached for their phone, capturing photos and video of the object which they described as grey and metallic, reflecting the afternoon sun. For over five minutes, they watched as the object hovered motionless high above the ground. Needing to finish some errands, the witness stepped into a nearby store only to return and find the object gone. The mystery remains unsolved. Puta madre, mira, estoy afuera de la casa de mi primo. Y está pasando esta cosa. Es una nave. No me jodas, carajo, mira. Qué puta madre es eso. Pasó despacito. Y mira, mira. Se están apagando las luces. This earlier sighting from Santa Cruz in 2019 was filmed just months after SpaceX began launching its Starlink missions, deploying small satellites that today provide high-speed internet coverage globally. This is significant because, as you watch the following videos, you'll see a growing trend in UFO sightings featuring numerous blinking dots, sometimes forming what appear to be shapes. In late October 2024, in the community of Hebron, Maryland, Four observers reported seeing a boomerang-shaped object. I inverted the footage to enhance the blinking and help reveal its hidden shape. One witness initially thought the anomaly was a large plane with two smaller craft flanking its sides. However, after observing it longer, they noted that it was moving in perfect sync at a slow, purposeful pace. Realizing they might be witnessing something extraterrestrial, one of the observers quickly fetched a better camera, capturing the anomaly as it shifted into a triangle formation similar to the shape seen in the earlier Santa Cruz video. The following sighting was captured by pilots who had just departed Los Angeles Airport en route to Boise, Idaho, around 11.30 a.m. After reaching cruising altitude, the two men began discussing recent UFO activity that had reportedly occurred the previous night in the airspace they were about to travel through. To spare you the droning sound of the plane engines, I've muted the audio and sped up the footage by two times. The pilot states in their testimony that as soon as they reached the area where aerial phenomena had been reported the night before, they immediately encountered what you see on your screen. Here is exactly what the pilot had to say. I was completely distrusting of what I had seen and continued to look in that direction. What I saw next was as vibrant and as real as anything I've seen in my life. I saw three bright lights, white, in a triangular formation, as did my first officer. The lights were so bright it seemed as if there was a blue haze connecting them. My perspective, my first officer did not see the blue haze. As soon as we made a visual on the triangle, it started to rotate around some kind of axis and change its form. The movement reminded me of an ice cube melting on a hot plate. 
The only difference is that it cared not about any dimension. In another instance of an aerial phenomenon, YouTube channel Donald S. Yetter shared a sighting at his home in Arizona, which appears to be occurring nightly for him and his mother in the skies of the Mojave Desert. As Donald records the glowing lights over the city, it quickly becomes clear that these objects are scattered throughout the night sky, with some even directly above them. I try to find There's some. one above it, too. I think, yeah, I think I came <clears throat> out too early last night looking for it. Because, well, I came... Maybe, what? But, what's that? That's no plane. No. Not that high up. No. And this satellite crap. Where is it? Huh? I don't see it blinking. It's up here, Donald. Up there. Did it move? Oh, it moved. See it? Yeah. Yeah. Now, what are those lights out there, Donald? Huh. Those four. Those are the lights. Those are those, those, are the ones, those lights that are over there. that's the red one over there. Yeah, those are them. I don't know what they are. I mean, because they move. They can't be like, you know, they can't be like street lights or something because they freaking move. That one was going so fast. I know, and now, and it's, now it's just way stopped down. pretty much. If you'd like to see this sighting in its entirety, head over to Donald's YouTube page and let's see if we can surprise him with a few hundred upvotes. <laughs> Sumiu uma, mano. A primeira que subiu, sumiu. Tá pegando. Tem mais uma, mano. As we move much further south from Arizona, we come upon the city of Postos de Caldas, nestled in the state of Minas Gerais, Brazil. One night, a couple of friends are shocked to look up and see a vast display of blinking lights moving across the night sky at varying distances and altitudes resembling UFOs. Take a closer look. Can you spot a triangle formation among them? Do you think, after witnessing these mysterious sightings, that they could be connected? Lastly, on the topic of the blinking UFO phenomenon, we have a sighting from Richmond, Virginia, dating back to 2021. As dusk settled over the sky, a tight formation of lights, resembling aircraft running lights, swiftly traversed the cityscape. Unlike the previous swarms of blinking lights, this sighting didn't quite have the same characteristics, but appeared more like an immense, invisible mothership gliding overhead. What do you think? Could this be connected to other sightings, or is it something different altogether? Share your thoughts below. Lake George is a town in New York's expansive Adirondack region, known for its mountains and old growth forests. Nestled along the shores of Lake George, the town offers a scenic backdrop. One night in late October, witnesses reported seeing an unusual object in the sky unlike anything we've discussed so far. Take a look. Look, oh my, look at this. Tell me this doesn't look like a spaceship. Come on. Totally does. Well, it doesn't show up very good on my phone. I can't uh, believe it's a... It looks like it's getting closer. That's so weird. The women who observed the object described it as saucer-shaped, with fluctuating white, yellow, and blue colors hovering motionlessly in the night sky. According to their account, the UFO remained stationary for nearly an hour before suddenly disappearing into the darkness. Everyone who saw it is convinced it was something from beyond this world. Thank you for staying until the end. If you have any footage or photos you'd like to share with the channel, please send them to Unknown Skies along with any details you'd like to provide. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Take care, everyone.